Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can create a box plot figure using Plotly. So, box plot is a very useful figure if you have seen it earlier. It's kind of a five number summary where you have uh, quartile one, quartile three, upper risk curve, lower risk curve, median value, and gives you a very good indication when you need to compare how your data is distributed, how many outliers are there and uh, you want to just have a quick snapshot of thousands or maybe millions of values in just one single plot so here i will show you a little complex example not a very basic example so that you can clearly understand so what i am using here is basically the data set from our previous uh, uh, videos like orders data set and uh, this data set has uh, different uh, dimensions like order priority uh, you have region province customer segment so what i will do is i will just choose the customer segment and uh, based on the different customer segments we will create the box plot so one box plot for small business another one for consumer just to see how they are distributed if they are significantly same or different what what the situation is all right so let's first create uh, the data set so corp is uh, so we are creating for corporate because I'm aware that there is corporate but if you are not aware and you want to do that well in that case what you can do is you can say orders and customer segment and quickly what I use is value underscore counts so what it gives me the name unique name as well as their respective value so both the information I can get so there are a lot of orders for customer segment corporate then for home office consumer and small business all right so from here i will just say corp and uh, orders dot sales and within that what i'll say is uh, orders customer segment i'll just copy that instead of typing um, orders equals to equals to corporate right if i go in yeah, absolutely fine okay so what I'll do is I'll just copy this and make it four so one is home office one is consumer one is SMB small business so corporate is changing here to home office and uh, then here it is uh, consumer and here it is small business perfect okay so now for here what we will do is we will create traces four traces so trace zero and we will say go dot box and within that we will specify the value of y because it happens only on the y-axis so one is corp give it a name maybe corporate well that's pretty much it right copy this paste 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 I'll just give one I'll just give one here as well and corp so trace one for consumer and uh, let's give it consumer right and trace two is basically your uh, all right so trace one is consumer which i should have given as two but that's okay so no issues in that i can give it home office that would be probably third box plot in this case on your chart and trace three is your smb so smb and uh, small business perfect data is so these are very very minimum settings that i'm doing but this is highly customizable right so once you are good with this then you can just deep down into it trace two trace three layout is it to go dot layout i'll just give the title which is distribution of customer segment distribution of sales by customer segment all right should be okay we create a figure which is um, 
um, go, I hope I'm right, I'll go dot figure. Data is data, layout is layout, and I will say tyo dot plot. All of these libraries I have already loaded in the previous video, so I'm not doing it again and again. So if you're finding it from where I'm using go, from where I'm using tyo, I would suggest that you follow it because showing it again and again would probably, you know, uh, waste time for another like 10 seconds. So pyo dot plot fake perfect. Okay, so now you see that we have a lot of outliers and box plot is showing a similar distribution. So what I can do is to see the better picture I can slice it by dragging my mouse. And this shows that uh, very similar kind of a distribution that each of these guys are. And that may be a cause of worry for you because you may be expecting a, a variance over here as compared to consumer or a home office, right? Because home office is significantly different from corporate. So there should be a high expense. Maybe if you go by, let's say what kind of things that they are buying which is furniture technology and all you may find distribution but if you just look at from the perspective of your customer segment this is something which you need to worry about right but yeah i mean you can you can take inferences based on your observations and what kind of business you are in i just wanted to give you an idea so yeah that's pretty much it how you can create uh, different box plots on the chart and uh, yeah if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button give me an encouragement and uh, if you want these videos directly in your inbox well just go ahead and subscribe it so that's pretty much it and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic